Whoa, see, he's right there. You gotta just kind of read the animal here. Just keeping his head away from me. That's okay. Okay, it's okay. That's right. Whoa, whoa, right there, right there. Today, we're gonna handle one of the most dangerous animals that I keep. You guys probably remember Titan. He's a beautiful titanium reticulated python. Boy, does he have an attitude. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to handle him as safely as possible. El Machino is also a reticulated python, just a different color face. This is what they call a machino, which is a mocha, an albino, absolutely beautiful animal. Both Titan and El Machino are reticulated pythons. And reticulated pythons come from Southeast Asia and are the largest snake in the world, getting up to 25 foot for mainland reticulated python. These guys can come from the Philippines and Indonesia. Absolutely incredible animals. And you can see Al has definitely got a very different disposition than Titan. There's no doubt about that. And the one thing about these guys is wow. They have some wickedly large teeth. Take a look at this. It's good. My kitty kitty. It has a scale, dude. No, it's not. Wow. Oh my God. That's a Let me look at the size of that. Oh crazy. my God. Brian, how many teeth like that does she have in her mouth, you think? A couple hundred. A couple hundred. I mean, this, these are the biggest ones. Yeah. They're bigger in the front and then they get smaller in the back. But yeah, there's a lot. But they'll shed these teeth all the time. They'll go through thousands of teeth in their lifetime. That is crazy. It's a significant bit. size of your hand. When you get bit by that, it's just going directly in. Oh, it gives me the chills. I've been handling snakes for over 35 years. You still need some tools of the trade every now and then. And when you're dealing with a really difficult animal like Titan, a good snake hook is your best friend, there's no doubt about it. Now, you're not poking the animal, you're not like pushing it. What you're using is just to guide it away from you, keep it away a little bit, just so that it doesn't actually bite you. So I'm gonna show you how I use the tool of my trade to hopefully handle Titan successfully and safely. He is definitely fired up, there is no doubt about it. This animal is no joke. And it's not a giant animal, but it has a giant I'm gonna just use the snake hook to keep me a little bit safe. Ooh, I'll tell you what, he is fired up. And I'm just kind of keeping his head away from me as much as I can. And I'm trying to see if I can do it. Okay. Lori, can I call you back or is there something important I'm filming? Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, all right, sounds good, all right, thank you. I'm gonna use the snake hook to just kind of get his tail, get him out a little bit. See, he's wrapping, that's one of the things, it's wrapping really tight right now. And venomous snakes do this from time to time too, and when they wrap like that, you gotta be careful, you don't want that to happen, because now if he strikes, I can't get away, right? You always wanna kind of unwrap. Oh, here he goes, see he's wrapping again, just gonna go ahead and set this down for a second, get him on the floor. Now, again, you gotta read the animal as best as you can. And Titan right now is doing pretty good. Whoa, see, right there. You gotta just kind of read the animal here. You see how he's kind of trying to get away, right? He doesn't really want to muck with me. But I tell you, a snake this size, especially a male, can put some really good damage on you because of those teeth you saw. Be careful. Ooh, he's got my snake hook, which is not the way you use a tool. Gonna run a little bit. Running is actually good. Now he's coming back. That's not good. It's okay, Titan. It's okay, buddy. He's got me really wrapped hard now, and he's coming around. This is not good. This is not good. Get my snake hook low. You're okay, buddy. And again, I can use the snake hook. Woo. You see, he's coming back around quick on me here. But I can use the snake hook to just kind of protect me. Again, I'm not poking or prodding the animal, just keeping his head away from me. You can see right there. That just saved me. It would have struck back at me. I would have been in big trouble. But what I really want to do is handle this animal. That's my goal. All right, I can get him running the other way a little bit. See, now he's back around, he's trying to wrap again. This handle can put you in the hospital. I'm not over dramatizing it. What I'm saying is that male retics, just like this right here, will open their mouth, they'll bite and they'll rip back and give you stitches. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's all right. You gotta be careful. You gotta know that strike range. I'm gonna walk up on him, gonna keep his head over here, and I'm gonna pick him up. Drop the snake hook, there's no turning back now. Pick him up. And you spin him away. He's coming back on me. I spin the other way. Just like that, see? That's how you keep him away. Just keep spinning. And that is how you handle one of the most dangerous animals I keep. Look at this puppy dog. See, I think he's gonna get used to me. And listen, I wanna work with him because I want him to tame out. The only way to tame him out is to work with him. You can see how he's completely different disposition now. Absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and get him back in his tub. And get a clean cage for him. Let's turn back quick, guys. See that he wrapped, he tried to come back on me. That was not good. So we're gonna go ahead and do it again. Back is an enclosure. Woo! So that was a lot of fun. And hopefully that taught you some techniques. How to handle a really defensive, striking, reticulated python. You know, it's such an honor to be able to work with an animal like this. You know, you may think like, Brian, why would you want to work with an animal that's trying to bite you? But he's just defensive. You know, he's afraid of me. I've got to work on trying to get him not afraid of me. And for 35 years, I've been able to work with amazing animals like this. And I've seen them go from this temperament to dog tame. And I think we can get tight in that way. We keep working on him all the time. But, uh... I tell you what, it wears you out. There's no doubt about that. That's a lot of energy. Uh, but what an absolute honor to work with not only this animal, but all the other animals I get to work with, no matter what their temperament is.
baby Kush. To what I believe the most dangerous animal that we work with here on a daily basis. Everything from the razor sharp claws to the bull whip tail that's like 18 feet long, even though he's not that long. And then the like 60 shark teeth in his mouth that are serrated. And then I think he's got the venom because it hurts. So that's why he's the most dangerous, I think. Don't get me wrong, Titan is crazy. And he just loves to try to get you. Kush is on another level because he's so smart too. This is like the fifth or sixth smartest. smartest. He's a lot smarter than me, okay? Let's get going. Oh, great. Just repositioning his teeth before he grabs onto me. It's okay. Oh, look at the way he's looking at it. Come on. Oh, good boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on up. Up, up, up. Good boy. So I've been working with Kush for almost three years now. Very cool to see him, how he's changed his demeanor and everything. Now that he's got some size to him, he's not that shy, skittish reptile anymore. He's very reactive to the way that we move. Sometimes we smell like food and he sees Cleaning it. Cleaning the glass, he'll see like the ball of paper towel and think it's food. So very, very reactive. But as you see right now, his tail's actually pretty straight. So he's not too, what's the word I'm looking for? Nervous anymore, which is great because, you know, he's getting more used to us, but at the same time, even more scary because he's not going to be that flightiness and run away. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Why are you moving so slow today? Come on. You see, he's so scary and then he takes chicken like that. But honestly, guys, feeding him at this point is very very easy he knows exactly what to do and i think we're going to try to pick him up and do a little bit of handling you guys don't have to use gloves with the big monitors and stuff but with the croc monitors i really like to one i don't want to bleed a whole lot today we're going to see if we can work with them a little bit but just look at his nails i love this the fact that his nails literally stand straight up on the ground because of that sharp sharp point insane it is literally a velociraptor i really just want to make him feel supported so when i pick him up it's just grabbing him by the base of the tail he's literally just holding him so i know i have a good grip on him and then i want to support the rest of his body again if the nails don't go into you that's even better so these are tree monitors even in indonesian they call them tree dragons so these guys like to be up in the ground look how long he is. this tail is as long as i am dude that is crazy with the intelligence now now he's up there and he's going hmm. i'm up high i'm away from all the people because this is a decently solid tree he's getting very heavy i will say that i'm very out of breath right now and on that note, I think he's doing really good, so I think we're going to put him back. He's not freaking out right now. Uh, his nails are definitely on my arm. He's doing really good. Yeah, he's still moving, but he's not doing that jerky, boltiness, like trying to run away from me. He's just trying to get more up high. So I think, right up there. And that's one of the most dangerous animals that we work with. He's so heavy. And I certainly don't want you to think that all reticulated pythons are like Titan, because they are. The majority of them are absolutely amazing. I mean, you can see Perdita here. And the thing is, the further they get bred out of the wild, every time you breed them in captivity, they become a little bit more docile. For two reasons, they will actually pass on behavioral traits. So, of course, we're keeping the tamest animals to raise up and breed, and their babies are coming out tamer each year and becoming more domesticated. Some animals like Titan are a little closer to the wild. And those wild animals are more defensive. And definitely like to strike sometimes like Titan does. You can see that the majority of reticulated pythons are puppy dog tame. As a matter of fact, Titan is our only retic that I don't trust. Sure, Lucy has a little bit of an attitude, but she's not terrible. And she, by the way, is an F1 generation out of the wild. And that's why she's a little bit cantankerous, but even her, she's not terrible. Titan is definitely one that I have the most respect for because he is absolutely crazy. But I don't want you guys to fear these animals. You definitely want to respect them because they have big teeth and they definitely can do some damage. But the truth is if you want a pet reticulated python, you have the ability to keep a giant snake in a giant enclosure. They are absolutely incredible animals. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.